my name is Alyssa Jacob. And mine is Emily Bestdale. And we're from Milwaukee Station. And today we're going to be presenting our project all about ocelots and red pandas. But before we begin, we're going to briefly show you about what we've made. Like these two diagrams that show an ocelot and a red panda. And then we have our main canvas that shows the early life and fun facts for both animals in words and the habitat and diet for both animals in pictures. And here, we've made a small poster about the food and habitat of both animals. And then we've made this game, which we will be, sh which we will be presenting and showing you using Pulaf later on. And finally, we have our PowerPoint. But before we start presenting it, um, to save time, we're gonna show you the most interesting or our favorite fact in our opinion. Now let's begin. The first question is, are red pandas endangered? An interesting fact from this slide is, one reason why they're endangered is because people are cutting down their trees for farmland. What do ocelots eat? My favorite fact from this slide is, ocelots don't chew their food. They use their sharp teeth to tear their food apart and swallow whole. And here's a picture of an ocelot eating fish. What do red pandas eat? A fact from this slide is red pandas need to eat a lot of bamboo because they can only digest 24% of it. Are ocelots endangered? Ocelots are at the stage called least concerned from a conservation status of extinct to least concerned. This means they're at the lowest stage possible, meaning that they are not endangered. Where do red pandas live? When red pandas are in trees, they use the retractable claws to move branch to branch easily. Where do ocelots live? Ocelots live in Central and South America. This means that if you go lower into the parts of South America, you might have a chance of seeing a wild ocelot. Fun facts about red pandas. They are not related to giant pandas because they have their own family, but they are closely related to raccoons. Fun facts about ocelots. An ocelot can be confused with a margay or an onsela, but ocelots are bigger. And here's our bibliography, where you can click on any of these links to see where we've got some of our information from. Now we're going to show you our game. Its name is Hunter's Chase. They hear the rules. If you're an animal, on your first turn, roll two dice. If you're a hunter, roll one. And move that many spaces. Either do what the space says or take a card. Answer the question and turn it over to see the correct answer. If you're correct, stay there. If you're wrong, you lose your next turn. If you're an animal and one of them go to the end, end the animal team wins. If you're a hunter and you touch an animal, the hunter team wins. If you land on a space where another play is, player is, the previous player moves back three spaces. I'll be the ocelot. And I'll be the hunter. So since she's an animal, she gets to go first. And roll two dice. I got a seven. One, two. Now she has to take a card. Do red pandas eat lizards? Yes. And since I got it correct, I get to stay there. Now it's my turn, but since I'm a hunter, I only get to roll one dice. Okay, that's three. One, two, three. Now we'll take this card. True or false? All sorts eat monkeys. False. So I got that one wrong. That means that I have to lose my next turn. And, that, and then from then on, you just keep playing. And if there's any spaces that say like go back to start or a shortcut, that means that you can do it. But over here, as you can see, it says hunter shortcut. And so if you're an animal and you get there, you can't go across because it's a boat. And I'm pretty sure animals don't go on boats. Thank you for watching our presentation. We hope you learned something new.